So you thought glamping had nothing to do with hospitality and tourism? Well, think again. It's one of the hottest and most profitable and fastest growing segments in the short-term rental market. And in this video, we'll discuss why luxury camping isn't going to be going away anytime soon and why you should be thinking of starting a glamping business on your own. Now, what is glamping? Glamping is a hot new trend in the adventure, wellness, and ecotourism. The word is a portmanteau, or a blend of words, which is glamour and camping, which was first floated in the UK in 2005 and rose in popular use and was formally added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2016. Glamping is where travelers enjoy the benefits of staying close to nature without losing their creature comforts. People want to get out of the city and experience the outdoors, but still want to be comfortable and even luxurious. Glamping provides that privilege. Accommodations offer a host of amenities, from fully functional kitchens to private showers, plush beds, solar-powered lights and heat, Wi-Fi, AC, and even chef-cooked gourmet meals. Lodging structures come in a plethora of types, from pods to domes, bell tents, covered wagons, teepees, yurts, tree houses, and now the all too familiar tiny house. The success of a glamping business really depends on a variety of factors. Its location, unique structure, and lux amenities and services it offers. Those within driving distance from major cities have a bigger potential for high occupancies as well. Now these are the top nine reasons why you should start a glamping business. Starting a glamping business is a great alternative to the traditional vacation rent home renting. It's a highly untapped niche that is finally being noticed with demand rising globally and savvy investors, big and small, scrambling to meet it. The industry is still in its infancy though, especially in the US where it began to take off only several years ago. Compared to Europe, where it rose in popularity as far back as 2007. There's a lot of space in this niche and the pie is big enough for everybody. It's actually the perfect time to jump in right now. Consider the potential that a glamping business offers. Number one, the market is booming. The global glamping market was valued at 2.35 billion in 2021, and it's projected to grow to 3.4 billion in 2022, rising to more than double that by 2023 to 10.6 billion. In the United States, the glamping market size was valued at 463.7 million for 2021, and it's expected to reach a revenue of around $1 billion by 2024. It's estimated to have an annual growth compound rate of 13.9 over the next decade. Much of Glamping's growth is due to the popularity of adventure tourism. There's been a rise in the outdoor activities among friends, families, and especially on the weekends. People enjoy driving out of town to be closer to nature and just hanging loose. In North America, 60% of leisure visitors who reported glamping in 2019 to 2020 were millennial or Gen Zs, and an important demographic you should be looking at if you're looking into setting up your glamping business. In Europe, the global outdoor hospitality sector saw a huge growth compared to the hotel stays. PitchUp.com, a leading booking platform for outdoor stays, saw an 84% increase in room nights in Q3 of 2021 compared to 2019, whereas OTAs offering mostly indoor stays like Airbnb, Expedia, and Booking.com reported 7%, 32%, and 18% reductions in room nights, respectively. If you haven't been looking into the outdoor hospitality sector yet, I think it's about time you did. Number two, it needs a lower startup capital and has a very high ROI. A glamping rental is cheaper to set up. They're small, non-permanent shelters that are not only less expensive to build or purchase, but they're a lot easier to furnish, heat, light, clean, and generally maintain. Most glamping sites are located in rural areas where the land would also be much cheaper. Of course, it needs to be surrounded by gorgeous scenery, and if you don't own rural property with scenic surroundings, you can also rent one. Many rural landowners are looking for ways to diversify their land use. In recent years, and especially since COVID-19, lots of homesteaders have opened up their properties for glamping and recreational use to earn extra income. If you can find landowners and present a short to medium term business plan, you might be able to arrange a lease or partnership agreement. Be sure to check your state's agricultural extension office for listings as well as farm link websites that connect landowners with those looking to rent. These state sites list available farms, forests, recreational land for sale and for rent by state, region, and all across the United States. Many listings already have barns, pastures, and sewage systems in place. Some sites even allow land seekers to post an ad listing their desired features such as trees, fencing, electricity, etc. Check out sites like farmflip.com, landsalelisting.com, landstewardshipproject.com, and thelandconnection.org. With that being said, you can also expect an earlier return on your investment than a regular brick and mortar vacation rental. According to Glamping Hub, a successful glamping business might break even quickly and begin making money by the second year of operation. It also has considerable potential to scale quickly. High-end structures like glamping domes can fetch you over $1,000 in the weekend, while tree houses can bring in almost double that price. Medium to lower end lodgings like yurts, pods, tents, teepees, and covered wagons charge anywhere from 80 to 250 a night. Plan your glamping business based on your location, climate, theme, budget, and business plans. Number three, it appeals to more people. 
Glamping draws a wide array of markets. It's not just limited to niche sectors like outdoor, fitness, and wellness. Unlike urban-based vacation rentals and short-term rentals that cater mostly to business travelers, glamping accommodates and encompasses a whole slew of demographics. Couples, groups of friends, millennials, families with young children and old, the list really goes on. Glamping is kid-friendly. With the great outdoors within reach, youngsters have a lot of exploring to do. Kids, tweens, and teenagers can put their phones down or at least leave them at home, go exploring all day, and still enjoy the creature comforts at the end of the day. And that's why it also appeals to folks of varying ages, comforts, and income levels. It's for people who want to be outdoors but don't want to pitch a tent or pump an airbed. It's for the savvy, well-heeled adventurer who wants to be close to nature but still enjoy a warm bath, a plush mattress, and a safe space from all those creepy crawlies. If you're already hosting several properties and want to diversify your market and geographical reach, glamping is an area that you can definitely look into for expansion. Number four, it's environmental friendly and sustainable. Ecotourism is also known as green or ethical tourism, and it's one of the fastest growing tourism sectors. A 2021 study by Virtuoso found that 82% of travelers want to travel more sustainably in the future. That same year, Booking.com launched its Travel Sustainable Badge program to lead the industry in showcasing a wider variety of sustainable stays. And as of April 2022, more than 100,000 properties have already been recognized globally for their sustainability efforts with that badge. Needless to say, glamping is the hallmark of sustainable and responsible tourism. As mentioned already, glamping structures are often non-permanent and easily collapsible. They leave minimal impact on the environment as compared to a resort, hotel, or multi or single family lodging. Their eco-friendly features are very compatible with glamping and can be integrated very naturally. Accommodations can be built from upcycled refurbished vintage structures like wagons, airstreams, shipping containers, and unused barns. Solar and wind power can be harnessed and dry or compost toilets can also be set up. Nature-centered activities can be offered locally and locally sourced food can be served. Number five, it's less restricted. Without as many HOA, neighborhood, and city rules and ordinances restricting your operations, you can run your glamping business with more freedom than you can in the city. You should keep in mind though that many rural communities have their own basic land use and zoning restrictions, so you have to be sure to familiarize yourself with them. Number six, it's experiential, which is a hit with millennials. More and more tourists are looking for unique and memorable experiences, particularly millennials. Millennial and Gen Z, often glued to their phones, they're always on the lookout for things to share, comment on, and like on social media. Glamping affords them that privilege to be able to update others on what they did over the weekend and rave about something cool and different. Many in the Gen Z group are already lifestyle travelers. They're digital nomads, and their population only bloomed these past two years when corporate America was forced to work remotely due to COVID-19. Ever since, and in spite of the lockdowns, people have found all the more reason, inclination, and time and freedom to go on vacations. Weekends extended to workations, where business hours turned into leisure weeks. After all, who doesn't want to stay in a national park and still be able to enjoy a hot bath, a plush mattress, and a built-in kitchen, all fitted in a romantically lit, air-conditioned, privated pod, without being stung again by those nasty, creepy crawlies. Glamping is very experiential. It allows people to do things and go places, be active, be sensory, immersed, and be surrounded by the elements, all while remaining cozy at the same time. Number seven, it fits right alongside wellness tourism. The wellness tourism industry, growing by leaps and bounds, is already a global force to be reckoned with. In 2021, its market was valued at $652.8 billion and is expected to rise to $816.5 billion this year. The Global Wellness Institutes estimate that the market will continue to keep growing annually by 20.9% through 2025. It's no surprise due to COVID-19, people will always be looking for places and activities to de-stress and take care of their mental, emotional, and physical health. In glamping, incorporating health and wellness component into your operations will fit like a glove. See if you can offer extra services such as massage, spas, dance and therapeutic exercises, arts and crafts, nature walks, bicycles, kayaks, and all sorts of rejuvenating activities. Number eight, marketing is a breeze. You can list your space in the same online travel platforms as you would your other vacation rental properties, or you can go to more niche sites like Glamping Hub, Hib Camp, Yonder, Pitch Up, which is in Europe, and Cool Camping, another European company. Airbnb, of course, has made its platform glamping friendly too, and they've provided a filter for guests to fine tune their searches for unique stays. Users can find glamping accommodations like yurts, domes, treehouses, barns, and farm stays, with other options for resident farm animals, campsites, and the like. Number nine, it's a great retreat for you and your guests. 
Most city dwellers long for rural escapes. And if you're an urbanite yourself, you know how it is. Getaways that are within a three to four hour drive from the metro area, surrounded by nature and tranquility, are always a welcome respite from the hustle and bustle. Glamping offers that retreat. It's the perfect sweet spot between untamed wilderness and modern luxury. Think of how you can provide this convenience. By properly planning, designing, and marketing a nature retreat, you can potentially draw crowds of city dwellers like yourself. And because comfort comes at a premium, you can offer a service at a higher rate than your typical vacation rental. And during the slow months, you can always use the place for yourself for your own family's relaxation. The bottom line, there's a rising popularity and demand for glamping that doesn't show any signs of slowing down. With the robust growth projections for the market in the next decade, it's just a smart thing to consider in venturing into this booming sector. In spite of that though, there's a lot of other things that you need to consider before jumping in, such as security concerns, extreme weather, seasonality, zoning laws, legal permits, energy and water supply, sanitation. There's a lot there just do your research before launching one. If you're looking to start a short-term rental business that allows you to be able to generate an extra $1,000 or more a month per property, then we have a free training where we walk you step-by-step -step on how we scaled our business to over 70 plus properties in only three years. So if you're looking to become a vacation manure and start your business within the next 60 days here, click the link down below and attend that completely free training. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're into short-term rental related content, and we'll include all the links such as this blog post down in the description box below. This is Julian Sage, and until next time, host nation. Keep on hosting.